Have you ever wondered what causes people to get the beliefs that they have or to really decide how they want to live their life? There's this model called spiral dynamics. This model really covers the lowest levels of psychological development to the highest levels. This model really can help explain why you make the choices that you do and why other people make those choices as well. Not only that, this model can serve to be a super powerful tool in personal development and understanding your own growth as a person. This can really help you build a vision for how you want to grow yourself and really, you know, what the next stage is going to be for your own level of development. This model was originally developed by Claire Graves sometime in the 1960s, and it was later made more popular by Christopher Cohen and Don Beck with this book, Spiral Dynamics. They also have a few other products. However, I would recommend this book to really get a good grip on Spiral Dynamics itself. Now, Spiral Dynamics is made up of these eight stages, and really what they do is they use color coding for each of them. So at the bottom, you have your stage beige, then you have stage purple, stage red, stage blue, stage orange, stage green, stage yellow, and stage turquoise. It does suggest that there is higher stages. However, turquoise, for example, is probably roughly less than 1% of the population. So it doesn't really elaborate on anything further. It's also not as helpful to try to learn or understand these stages, at least for most people, further than turquoise. I want to give a bit of a brief summary on each stage to help you get an idea of what that stage might be like. However, really to understand this model is going to take quite a bit of research. There's quite a bit of other good videos that individually go deep into each stage. However, with this video, what I want to do is provide a good summarization of each and really give you a good idea of what each stage is like. And that will allow you to make a good decision on if this is a good model and a good fit for you to help your own personal development. The first stage is stage beige. Stage beige is basically an animalistic type stage. There's not really a whole lot of thought process with things. It's more of a reactive kind of stage. This can be seen in animals such as dogs, cats, and really any animal you can find. A baby would also be a good example of this stage beige. At this stage, you can understand basic commands, just like you can teach a dog to sit or things like that. The next stage would be stage purple. This is more of a collective stage. This stage would be more of like a mystical kind of stage. You could find a good example in modern society of like a tribe that's been cut off from you know, modern society, they still have these remote little tribes that really still have no idea what's going on in the rest of the world. This could be a good example of that. And they have a lot of mystical thinking and you know, spiritual type beliefs that are very mystical based. A good example of this too would be a child that is you know, imagining things and playing you can probably remember a time in your childhood where you've been in a similar state. The next stage after purple would be stage red. This is an individual stage. A good example of this stage would be a rebellious teenager. At this stage, authority is not really seen in as good of a light. This is more of a you know, I am me kind of stage, and I, I want to do my own thing. Some good examples might be criminals 
or even rappers. Rap music is a really good example of a stage red kind of music. Uh, boxing is a, a stage red sport. Those types of things would really give a good picture of stage red. The next stage would be stage blue. Stage blue is where more authority and discipline start to come online. It's more of a reaction to stage red. And this is, once again, this is now a collective type stage. This stage is something where you could see in, let's say, schooling, how everyone kind of wants to put these ideas and beliefs more of like, you can't do this, or you can do that, or these are the kind of clothes that we wear. Those types of ideas are really embedded in stage blue. Types of behaviors, types of mannerisms, those things start to become expected. You can also see stage blue in things like churches, or you could find it in authoritative type things, like you could find a police officer could be a good example of like a stage blue type career. The next stage would be stage orange. And this goes back to the individual level. This is more of a success and achievement based stage. This stage really is where you start to see a lot more things like business or self-achievement type things like I'm going to climb this mountain just to prove that I can get to the top of this mountain. You might see things like investing would be a more popular stage orange topic. A lot of modern society currently is probably in stage orange, at least here in the United States. A good example of stage orange businesses you might see like, you know, Coca-Cola or something like that. That would be a very good example of a stage orange business. Kind of a big focus on the profits of things. The next stage would be stage green, which is more of a collective type stage. Going back from the other stage being individualistic, this goes back to the collective. Stage green is where you start to see more ideas of like love and compassion, empathy. More ideas like, you know, meditation start to become a thing and ideas of spirituality that was much different than what you'd see at like stage blue, which stage blue had more of a, you know, more rule-based spirituality. This might be more of an experiential type spirituality in that sense. Stage green has a lot more ideas and activism towards things like, you know, protecting the environment, protecting animals. You might see people protesting, you know, slaughterhouses and things like that. Those protesters are typically a good example of stage green. The next stage would be stage yellow. Now this is where there's a pretty big leap from the previous stages. In this model, you would call this a tier two stage. Stage yellow is where the individual, which is now this is an individual type stage, the individual is able to carry multiple perspectives and acknowledge value in all of them. Whereas this really is not something that comes online at the lower stages. A lot of the time you will see at lower stages in this model, people are very fixed on one idea of how things should be. And at this stage, this can see all those different ways of thinking. So if maybe if stage blue and stage green have different ways of thinking of spirituality, this stage could maybe see both of those and still find truth in either one of them. This stage is quite rare, about 5% or less of the population. A lot of things like reading and knowledge become a big thing. 
these types of models like spiral dynamics become more of a thing. Systems thinking is really popular for this stage. There's various other models and ways of looking at things that become important. This type of thinker would also just think of things in a system and how they operate, not just on one single thing. They would see it as more of a whole and, and how it works as little parts of a system to function. The last stage is stage turquoise. This stage is much more rare than the previous ones. It's about 1% or less of the population. This is more of a holistic worldview type stage. This stage can see how the rest of the world could work together and really help each other. This stage doesn't really leave behind a certain maybe country or type of person. There's not really as much of a difference in race or sex really at this stage. This person would want to do things or lead other people to really building a collective world that helps each other and is thriving. This stage also would be integrating those lower stages as well, building upon them and working to help these lower stages get past parts of, let's say there's an issue in stage orange of a lot of pollution, for example. This stage would want to help countries avoid that while they're progressing through that stage themselves. Spirituality would be much different at this stage as well. Uh, this would actually be something that would be more embodied versus maybe stage green would be more idealistic about what type of spirituality they have. This stage would actually be more in the actual practices and embodying it and, and how they see and interact with the world would be more intertwined with the spirituality. You could see examples of this in some gurus or other spiritual leaders. Typically at this stage, the person would be a leader and part of a collective. So this is also a stage that is collective and not individual. And of course, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there are potentials to have, you know, higher stages. I've heard of stage coral and things like this. There's really just not a lot of examples out there or really just a lot of information and research because it's such a small percentage of the population. Even stage turquoise is already quite rare and hard to study. Even, I would say even stage yellow can already be hard to really find a lot of individuals that are fully operating at that level. One important thing with this model is the fact that a person is not just at one stage, typically. So if someone was maybe based around stage orange, they would likely have some stage green and some stage blue, even some stage red, then they could even have some stage yellow. Typically, they're going to probably peak more in one of these areas, and then it'll kind of spread out around that. Also, a big mistake that I see with this kind of model is a lot of people will start to look at certain stages in a negative light. Stages like stage red or stage orange in particular get a lot of flack just because of the fact that there are positives and negatives to each stage. So there's there's actually toxic pieces to each one where stage red, for example, a lot of people might associate that with just being a criminal or some sort of bad person who does illegal things. This is not always the case. As I mentioned, there could be someone who is a healthy boxer or just even a rebellious teen, that's not really someone who's causing a lot of harm to society. And same with even stage orange, there's a lot of good things in success and that individual thinking that can really help an individual excel to the next level. Just as I had mentioned, things like self-help 
really start to come online at that level where that's really starting to be an option and a way of thinking and looking at the world. Even at that stage, that's where you could start to get interested in models such as spiral dynamics to help evolve yourself to the next level. Overall, this model, I've been studying this for about four years and really integrating this into my own life. It's radically changed the way that I interact with people and how I really view the world. It really helps break down things in a way that it just makes a lot more sense. Now, of course, I want you to dive deeper further into this. If you're really interested in taking your growth to the next level, I highly recommend you pick up the book Spiral Dynamics and really invest a good 20 to maybe even 60 hours learning this, really trying to find examples of each stage as well too. As you're learning through the book, go and actually find people that are maybe more notable that you can actually go, okay, this person is stage orange or stage blue, and really try to identify where you're at as well so you can use that to your own benefit as you grow. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.